Uh, here's the Sunflare solar cooker, and uh, I'm, I'm uh, just turned it into the sun, and it's gone from less than 100 degrees, almost up to 150 in the last five minutes. Uh, so I'm going to cook some uh, puerco con chile today in this thing. It's going to cook for about four or five hours, maybe a little longer, maybe almost five and a half hours. So I'm going to go inside and make my chili con puerco and once the uh, oven gets up to 150 degrees we'll start cooking. And I'm going to put some, uh, uh, I was at the butcher counter and saw some um, uh, hot wings so I'm going to put those in there too see how that works and uh, maybe a side of potatoes although I'm going to cook, cook rice on the stove to eat with it but uh, I'll get back to you let you know how it goes okay, I'm back I uh, got my my porco con chili in the big pot and I put hot wings from the butcher counter in the little Pot. These are the these are collapse. That's the collapsible silicone pot that came with uh, the cooker. <clears throat> and when you get the cooker, you get the temperature gauge, which was up to 200 until I unzipped it and let all the heat out to put the stuff in. Anyway, uh, let's see. So that's a little pot. I put a pound of of uh, hot wings in there from, like I said, raw from the butcher counter, and the uh, I had a had him dice up a, a pork butt for me, and uh, added these uh, cans of El Pato sauce. There, better. Oh, I hope. Uh, seasoned it with Lowry's and garlic powder first, mixed in pretty good, and then put one can of salsa de jalapeno and El Pato tomato sauce, Mexican hot style. Uh, you can, if you want to curb the, curb the uh, heat a little bit, you can just put regular tomato sauce. Anyway, it's, uh, geez, what time is it? I guess it's about 9.30 and 9.15 and we're going to let this cook for five hours. Of course, I'm going to have to come out every once in a while and move the cooker so it aims right at the sun and uh, get myself out of the way so I don't uh, cast a shadow amazing the difference between it aimed away from the sun and aimed towards the sun. I mean, aim it towards the sun, it gets up to 200 degrees, and it's going to go higher than that, especially as the sun climbs. But, um, come back and show you the end result in several hours. I'm going to let it cook probably till 2.15, thereabouts, and check it. And I'll probably check the hot wings uh, in a couple hours. Okay, here we are. We got the solar flare cooker. Sun flare. Sun flare. Sun flare. Kind of sounds like solar flare, though, doesn't it? Well, okay, let's see what we got here. These are my potatoes. These are parsley potatoes. And they look pretty cooked. Go over a close up, Jija. Here we are, closed up. Yeah. Uh, no, these could cook a while longer. But I put these in about an hour after the other things, so if I were to time it right. But I can finish nuking that in my microwave oven. Okay, now, let me get that out of the way. Wow. Wait, let's look at Lally really quick. Hello. Uh, no, <laughs> back to the, the thing at hand here. Okay, now. Much apologies, people. Let's do, I better, I better actually use the fan thing. Just because it looks like a toy doesn't mean it doesn't get really super hot. Okay, know what I got here? I got my, my uh, last minute I decided to do some chicken wings. Look at the chicken wings. They are definitely mm. done. Wow, those look pretty good. Compliments to Stater Brothers Butcher. Okay. Now this is... Now we're going after big game now, Jija. Mm. Okay, here we go. It's going to be... Okay. This is my chili con puerco. Let's see how this went out. Ooh. Yeah, 
and I'm going to say it's done, but it's not not as tender as it would have been if I cooked in the crock pot all day. Maybe you should put the rest of it in the crock pot. Well, we might do that. That could be a good idea. Anyway, but it is, it is cooked all the way through. Yep. Yay. I think next time we'll put more salsa in it. Okay, that's it. Looks all like right. it's mission accomplished. Thank you, Sunflare.